Electronics company Sharp is coming out with a new robot. It's called Robo Han, and it can perform basic functions you'd expect from a smartphone. But is there a place for this kind of device in the average consumer's home or maybe strangely in their pocket? Joining us now to talk all about it is Chris Gottschalk. He's a principal at venture capital firm Bloomberg Capital. So, Chris, a number of tech companies are working on robotics. Robots, there's a, a fairly well-known Pepper robot, Google's been working on robots. I mean, there's so, so many robots out there. What sets this Sharp robot apart from others in your opinion? And how interested do you think consumers will actually be to buy something like this? Yeah, Dominic, you know, we're seeing a lot in AI and kind of personal automated robotics and software. You know, Robohan, it, while it's an interesting piece of technology, really, if you look at the core, they're leveraging Android, they're leveraging Qualcomm. It's really a differentiated form factor, which uh, if you look at it, eight inches tall, maybe limited in terms of mobility. So not much new there in terms of software, perhaps a reskin on the, on the form factor, uh, which we think probably has limited consumer demand. If you look at the market though, Japan in the late 90s had some market size here, and um, perhaps they're trying to capture some limited geographic market. All right, so it's just interesting that you, you talk about the limited scope perhaps of this, but Sharp is trying to pin this or, or market this as calling this new robot a portable robot-shaped phone. So do you think this is something that people might actually use to replace their iPhones or Samsung Galaxy S7s? Yeah, they truly are marketing it as a phone, and I think you know the question is, is the form factor and perhaps some of the novelty feature sets in terms of the phone being able to walk and the projection screen, does that capture more consumer demand? I think we're a little bit skeptical. And as early stage investors, we really think the differentiation is driven by the software. And so until they have the ability to, to have proprietary and differentiated software that plays nicely with the hardware and create new feature sets, we just see limited demand. So it looks like a candy shell for right now. Well, let's talk about Sharp's overall brand. <laughs> it's known for things like home electronics. I remember one of my first flat screen televisions was a Sharp Aquos LCD uh, t television here. So, so how do you see this robot impacting Sharp as a brand? We know it's already going to be bought by Foxconn, right? Absolutely. And we think it makes sense for Sharp to, to experiment in this space. You know, they have a history of, of being innovative in the hardware space. So it makes sense that they would layer some interesting hardware over software. But uh, you know, in terms of the novelty factor and how that translates to man, I demand, I think it's questionable. And as a, a, the future of the company, you know, really it's thin margin on the hardware side, they're fast product cycles, so I think there's questions all around and, and how do you reinvent this company? Uh, we would say it's through software, so we'll see where they head. All right, so it sounds like with this whole Robohan experiment, when they can get the software at least differentiated, it might actually make an impact for the overall business at Sharp. That was Chris Gottschalk over at Blumberg Capital, and thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.